Today on the show, we're going to start the conversation about race registration tools, features of race websites, race directors connecting with runners, and how race directors work with charities. And of course, the fill tip of the day. Let's start the show with question one. Question one reads, what features should an online race registration tool have? So features of an online race registration tool. This might come from a race director's side. It might come from a charity side. It could even come from the runner's side. What type of features would make sense if you're a race director? You're looking for event numbers, totals on dollar amount in, totals on demographics even. What type of features would a race director, and if you're a race director, let us know. What types of features are useful to you on the back end so that on the front end you collect the information or you distribute the information properly to the runners? From a charity side, it's kind of a similar thing. It a lot of times depends on who's hosting the race, on what information needs to be in the online registration. If it's the charity hosting the race, as the race director, then they might want different parts of information. If it's a charity that's going to be a benefactor from a race director hosting a race, then the information might look a little different. Then of course you have your runners. What types of things, runners, would you like to see a race registration do or be or say? Is there some communication more that you're asking for? Is there just some feature set that would be nicer? Let's hear from you in the comments below. All right, question two. Let's start the conversation about what are the best features of a running race website? A running race website can be a myriad of things. It can have fundraising, information on the city, information on the race, Maybe it's all about the race club that started it. Whatever the race website focuses on, what are the best features for that race website? And I'm specifically asking race directors. What have you race directors found to be the best feature set on your website? So do you have registration, fundraising, race information, hotel and lodging, transportation information, now, are those the five biggies? What kinds of buy-in information do you send out? Is there a newsletter ad um, spot on your website? Can I add myself to get updates about the race? Do you do the whole social thing where you list out the Twitter posts you have or the Facebook updates? What are the features of a, of a running race website that convert well for you, race directors? Let's hear from you in the comments below. So our third question of episode five is going to be, how do running races and charities work together? Running races and charities have this interesting interplay. A uh, running race that's being run will either benefit or be run by a charity. So like in question one, there's this dichotomy or synthesis or just complete one-sidedness to a running race. So, for example, a charity might use a running race as a community outreach program, a way to raise awareness about their cause, and a way to raise money for their programming. There might be an event director within the charity who chooses to host a running race. Now, that's a one-sided event. The other thing it could be would be that a charity hires a race director to put on a running race as a part of the programming for the charity. Going to then the other side, it would be that a running race gets started because people want to do a 5K, 10K, half or full marathon. And out of that running race, some of the money gets parsed off to be sent to a charity. So whatever the focus would be, it could either be running or the charity, there's a difference depending on the race. So how do these running races and charities, how do they work together? Let's hear from you in the comments below what you do. 
All right, then, question four, and the final question of episode five. Question four reads, how do race directors connect with runners online? So this question really speaks to more about how race directors interact digitally. Do race directors, and if you're a race director, I'd like to hear from you, but do race directors tend to do communication with runners? I, I've seen some interaction online. I've seen some articles discussing how understanding the runner's experience from a race director's uh, perspective can help the race director reach out, can help support the runners on what their experience is, and the race directors can connect more with the runners. So let's hear from you, race directors. How do you connect with runners online? Is it purely social? Is it purely registration expo race? Is it purely a social experience? So social networks like Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, Google Plus. If you're a race director and you have some experience with connecting with runners online, how do you do it? If you're a runner and you've heard from a race director in the digital space, what have they done to reach out to you? Let's hear from you in the comments below. Let's end episode five with the fill tip of the day. Fill tip is synthesis equals growth. I'd like to hear what you have to say about synthesis and growth in the comments below. All right. Thanks for watching the Run for Phil show, where we're connecting philanthropic running by starting the conversation.